This is another video on my uh, Internet of Holiday Lights projects for Lemon 14. One of the components I wanted to make was an LED star uh, which would go on top of my digital Christmas tree. I originally intended to use uh, an LED strip which I would cut into pieces uh, to make the star shape, but uh, in the end I came across the NeoPixel sticks from uh, Adafruit. Um, these. Um, so to make the star I started off by 3D printing a star shape like this you can see it's a bit off center but that's because the LEDs on the stick are not centered so by placing the sticks here the LEDs will be centered on the star uh, you'll see that in a minute um, based on the measurements of the stick I came up with this shape uh, after printing this and making sure it uh, fitted and the dimensions were uh, correct I created a second version in which uh, I had, let's say, bigger slots to fit or clip the sticks in and some spacings uh, to be able to pass through some wires uh, for, the, for the contacts because the sticks need to be powered and need to pass on the data uh, between each other to create, let's say, one big uh, strip. The result is uh, this star with five sticks where we have uh, power ground and data coming in and this is then relayed between all the sticks resulting in one chain of LEDs. Um, I used a bit of hot glue to, to have some kind of stress relief on the, on the wires and to keep everything together. So this is now a solid star and uh, I connected it to my Arduino YAM. Um, and the good thing about Adafruit uh, NeoPixels is that they only use one data line. So you provide power and one data line and using their uh, library you are able to animate the pixels uh, very easily. I've loaded the default sketch from Adafruit to test an LED strip. I configured the number of uh, pixels to 40 because I have five sticks of eight pixels each and when we power uh, the Arduino uh, you will see the default animations uh, starting. Hopefully. So we can see that everything is lit up in sequence and using the default animations uh, we get some nice effects. It's possible to create your custom animations uh, by coding some uh, Arduino functions but uh, I'll show that in a later video. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching.